So now we're going to work on dilutions of solutions and hopefully find the solution. Ha 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 ha. Okay, and so anytime you see a dilution problem, you're probably going to be using the formula C1V1 equals C2V2. And so let's just go ahead and talk about what this means. Break it down for you for a second. What this means is C1 is the concentration in the initial solution. V1 is the volume of the initial solution. C2 is the new concentration, and V2 is the new volume. So C is concentration, V is volume. And what this really means in terms of the chemistry, and if we uh, use the example of molarity, because that's really kind of easy to see, so coming up here, so we know molarity is moles per liter. And if we multiply that by some volume in liters, and then we make a new solution of a new molarity, moles per liter, maybe we added in like 50 more mils of water and made a dilution. And um, so our new volume is different. We see that the liters all cancel. And what we end up with is moles equals moles. So what this equation is really saying and why it is valid is because we're taking basically the same number of solute molecules doing something to the volume, but the number of solute molecules is the same. That's what this equation says. So that's C1V1 equals C2V2. That's how you solve your dilution problems. Okay, so in this problem, what volume in mils, so let's make sure our volume is in mils, of a 2.5% mass volume sodium hydroxide solution can be prepared by diluting 50 mils of a 12% mass volume NaOH solution. Okay, so now let's identify our C1, V1, C2, and V2. Okay, C1, V1, C2, and V2. And it's really important, if you mix these up, you're not gonna get the correct answer. Okay, so we're solving for a volume, that's gonna be our X. And wherever it says of, you know that those two are paired. So the volume of this concentration. So we can just call that V1 because um, this is coming, the first thing that appears in the solution, or in the, in the question rather. So it doesn't really matter what order it's, or what if it's C1 or V1, or, or rather v, V1 or V2, C2 or V2. It, it, it doesn't really matter if it's one or two. That's what I'm trying to say in a convoluted way. Luckily, you guys love me anyway. Okay, so our concentration is 2.5% because we know the of means that these two are linked. So we don't know the volume of 2.5% and we are diluting 50 mils. See this word of again? That means those two are linked. 50 mils of 12%. So these two are linked, C1 and V1. C2 and V2 are linked. So we see that in the formula. C1 and V1, C2 and V2. That's the part that's, this is the, where you could possibly mess up. So concentration two is 12% mass by volume. They're both mass by volume. Don't have to worry about that. Don't have to convert it so that they're the same units. They are already the same units. And here we've got 50 mils. Okay, so for these problems, you have to make sure everything's in the same units. This is percent mass volume. This is percent mass volume. We're good. This is mils. That means this will end up in mils, and luckily, that's what we want. So no conversions at the end. Awesome sauce. So now let's go ahead, rewrite the equation. C1V1 equals C2V2, and now let's plug it in. C1 is 2.5 percent. V1, we don't know what that is. C2 is 12 percent and V2 is 50 mLs. We want to solve for x, so what we're going to do is divide both sides by 2.5 percent. 
2.5%. And you see this cancels, same number, same units. And we get x equals x equals, you multiply the 12 and the 50, divide by the 2.5. These units cancel. And we end up with 240. And the units are the units that are left. MLs carry those down. Boom. Boom, boom. So this will work for percent mass by volume. This will per work for percent mass. This will work for percent volume. This will work for molarity. It is a one size fits all.